Hello, and welcome to another episode of Live from Studs. I'm Kyle Flaherty, Vice President of Marketing for 21CT. I'm Greg Matthews with the W2O Group. We're here at the W2O Group's offices at South by Southwest. We are live from Stubbs, sponsored by 21CT. I'm really excited because our guest today is Vince Gallo, who is head of social media at Kaiser Permanente, which is a nonprofit health system that provides health care for about 9 million Americans. It's a more than 9 million. Wide. It's mm -hmm. a wow. big, big company. Happy to be here. Thank you. So I guess I'll kick off the questions because the one that I had that was, you know, we were kind of talking about this before we started, but Kaiser Permanente, why social? What, like, what got you guys into that, and what's kind of going on there for you guys? Sure. So. For, for us, the first place we look is we have four million of our members, more than four million of our members who use our personal health record online. There, we, we know that at least half of our members are already digital natives, they're already online. So uh, it makes perfect sense that we want to be where they are and we want to be where our next million or two million members are too, which we know is online. Right. So um, we came to social media in the 2007, 2008 area in much the same way that everybody else did. And we've tried to get more sophisticated um, as quickly as possible, like everybody else is, I think. Right. And I think we're, we're ahead of the curve in a lot of areas as far as healthcare is concerned. So we know that most companies, when they start in social, particularly healthcare companies, which have you know some regulatory issues, they'll start off sort of, you know they'll put their press releases out sure. uh, with a tweet or something yep. like that. I know you have gone well beyond yep. that. Can you talk about some of the initiatives that, that you've done? What channels are you in? Yep. Who's, so, who's running them? Yeah, absolutely. So one, one thing I'm very fond of is we have a video blog called Care Stories, which we feature our members, unscripted and uncompensated. Um, we go out as, the, as our PR team and we interview them. We don't pay for crews. We've learned how to do that for ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and we go and capture those stories from our members and then bring them back to our YouTube channel and then syndicate them out through the blog, through, YouTube, you know, through um, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, I mean the whole nine yards. And what that's done for us is a number of things. One, um, great stories begat more great stories. So not only our members see these stories and they say, gee, I know somebody who has that kind of story, our own employees and physicians say, wait a minute, I have a member who has an amazing story. We should be sharing that story here. And then we can leverage that video and use it internally and, and then also create thought leadership externally. We can create thought leadership about our, our physicians, our caregivers, the excellent quality of care they did deliver. So it really is a, a, a I hate to say a win-win all around, but it's, you know, a video blog didn't seem like it was much of a sophisticated vehicle, mm -hmm. but for us it's been absolutely a, um, a fantastic thing. I'm so glad we did it. So we're talking about today, but you know, we're here at South by Southwest, so everyone's talking about tomorrow, what's the next big thing, etc. So where are you guys going? Where do you see, all right, a year from now, we're sitting here, what are you talking about? Yeah, so we, we've tried to be really strong about the idea that we're not in social for social's sake. So we don't want to chase the next tool or the next technology. What we really want to do is how do we best promote and protect our brand on a day-to-day -day basis, and how do we set ourselves up for success going forward? Mm -hmm. So I spend, we spend a lot more time thinking about what are the initiatives that really deserve the energy of our social presences? What, what, are, what, are, the, what are the initiatives that are really going to move the dial nationwide? Um, one thing we're doing right now, we've just launched something called Thriving Schools, Kaiser Permanente Thriving Schools. Um, amazing initiative where we're re we are collecting the best information about how to bring more activity, more physical activity to schools uh, and then awesome. share that information as a successful practice to as many people as possible. Not only in the areas, the nine states and District of Columbia that we serve, not only the nine odd million members that we serve, but really nationwide. Really make it a model for, we, we know that children in school who are active do better. We know that schools that put a focus on physical activity score better. So we want to play a role in making sure that we can bring all the successful practices to bear, share them amongst all of the schools who are interested in this, and then maybe bring others into the fold so that everybody can, we, you know, a rising tide lifts all boats, right? A rising physical fitness tide lifts all boats. Sure. You know, we, we launched two years ago something called Everybody Walk, you know, the, the um, movement to get America walking again, because you know, the science is very simple. It, if you walk 30, day, 30 minutes a day, five days a week, you will prevent or you know, increase the prevention of any number of chronic conditions. Right. You know, it, it's it, the science is irrefutable and amazing, and it's so approachable. I mean, you know, virtually everybody on the planet can walk, right? right? So why not? Yep. So when we talk about how we're going to use social media going forward, I'm really looking at it as what are the initiatives that are going to 
change the world, mm -hmm. and how can we bring our tools to bear? Wow. So this is a, this is a really cool thing, and I know I, along these lines, I read recently that um, through, through your community benefits program, mm -hmm. you're a nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. Uh, devoting a tremendous amount of time, money, and resource towards mm -hmm. funding all kinds of interesting initiatives. Mm -hmm. And I remember seeing last year's uh, donations were in the like $1.8 million range. Does that sound about right? A, a big number. So community benefits, obviously a very important thing. How does social play in? The school sounds really interesting. Mm -hmm. is, there a, is there a social component to the community benefit program there's, as well? There, there's, there's many, and we just talked about two yeah. of them, obviously. But what we're finding is what, making connections with the organizations that are already doing amazing work in their communities, you know, provide not only just providing our support to them, but our expertise, and also, we you know, we can play a huge role in making those social connections in trying to um, really make a, a collective kind of energy behind, you know creating change in communities. You know, we, you know, we, we are all about in our, you know, in, in our, in our positioning, you know, to take care of our members and the communities we serve, you know, which is, you know, which is a very, very lofty position, yeah. but it's, it's very, very real for us. That, yeah. That's exactly all we're about. So one last question for me. You talked at the beginning about the internal kind of influx of content, or oh, I know someone who has a similar story, mm -hmm. et cetera. Sure. What, what other ways are you kind of, because internal, getting people excited about this internally is yep. extremely important for you guys, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So what other things do you guys do to make sure that the employee base, that all the people that are kind of working, understand what you're doing and also help you with that? Yeah, we, we have a really robust internal collaboration presence. We've built a, um, a platform called IdeaBook that um, 40,000 of our employees and physicians have signed up for and use on a regular basis, which is, wow. um, it's, I don't want to do an advertisement, it's built on a Jive software platform, and it essentially allows our employees and physicians to collaborate in ways that they couldn't before. Yeah. You know, we're, you know, we're, you know, how much information have we all lost in emails? I know I've I've lost my share and then some, yeah. Um, yeah, but we're, we're doing such a better job of doing that where we're really you know, encouraging collaboration and sharing throughout the organization. We're also trying to um, create a social media um, education foundation. We did a social media 101 curriculum last winter that we're going to try and roll out cool. through the year for yeah. um, our entire organization where you know we just give a baseline understanding of not only how does the world of social media exist because that changes on an hourly basis but you know what are our mores as an organization as it regards social media what are our standards of behavior and engagement in social media mm -hmm. because you know ultimately if we get to the best place possible um, people like me won't need to exist because the entire organization will be social media conversant. Right. The entire organization will be able to, where appropriate, based on their expertise, will be able to um, communicate and collaborate externally on behalf of our brand. Yep. Now that's, that's a pretty big long-term vision, obviously, but you know, you gotta have big visions. Yeah, that's right. I like that, excellent. <laughs> So, speaking of big vision, mm -hmm. no, that's not a good segue. Um, <laughs> let's let's just go with it. I'll that roll account. with it. Yeah, exactly. Sure. We're in Austin, obviously. Absolutely. Uh, it's the live music, you know, mm -hmm. city capital of the world. Yep. So, where do you get, where do you get your music? Where what inspires you? Kind of where where, where, are you, where are you finding the latest and greatest for yourself? You know, I have a daughter who is ten, going on eleven, going on sixteen, <laughs> and so I'm finding that I'm getting a lot of my new music through osmosis, through her, yep. and through seeing the bills roll in from Amazon MP3.com. So Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber. He, no, there will be no Justin Bieber in my house, but I'm sorry. Can I say that? I just did. You can. He is not um, a sponsor. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, you know, I, I, I find I'm getting a lot that way. And you know, I, my coworkers inspire me all the time. I'm, yeah, I'm amazed I at, you know, I, I hear something through the cubes, and I think, hey, wait a minute, what is that? And right. I'm reaching for my phone to, you know, to, to try and figure out oh, what the heck is that? You know, sound hounded or something like yep. that. Yep. Oh, it just drives me crazy. Yeah. So, you know, the other thing that Austin is so known for, and of course our sponsor Stubbs uh, makes an incredible barbecue. Been there, done that. I've been told that you <laughs> that you are uh, an appreciator of good barbecue. I am absolutely. Do you have any favorites, anything that you really go after? You know, I'm, I, I describe myself as a raccoon of barbecue. I'm pretty much omnivorous, but when in doubt, I go to the brisket. You know? It's when, hard to go wrong. And, yeah. and actually, you know, if you can mix the brisket and the hot link, Kind of the double-double no double right there. Can. No, then, no then you're really can. going to town, I think. Exactly. In moderation, by the way. Awesome. All things in moderation. So, well, you'd have to walk afterwards. 
And, and then uh, you have to. No, if, literally, you do. And cap it off with a 30 minute walk, and you're good to go. Awesome. I love it. Way to wrap it around. That's great. Excellent. Vince Gala, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Here. It has been fantastic to host you on the Live from Stubbs yep. podcast. Thank you for having me. I'm thank Greg Matthews. I'm Kyle Flaherty. Thank you all for watching.